is good guys we are back inside of an abandoned radiology hospital this place has some really cool interesting old expensive machines inside of it obviously it has lots of paperwork like all the other hospitals do there's other little cool things inside of here it's really creepy it's really moldy I'm gonna be masked up most of the time I'll tell you throughout the video that I'm masked up I'll try to pull it off at some point in time so I can speak to you clearly but if not I apologize for that but this place has a lot of really cool interesting pictures inside of it that I want to take and a lot of cool interesting shots that I want to show you guys in this video Let's get to it. Let's see what it has. Let's do it. Even though there's not really very much left behind, there's still some files. We usually do find files in almost every hospital that we go into. And why would this be the exception? So what it looks like is this is where they used to develop the uh, the x-rays. Um, they put them in here. I'm guessing like maybe there's a solution here or something. Because um, it says, yeah, films do not open in the light. And you can see up above, there's the uh, there was like the red light for the dark room. Yeah. So they probably take them out of here and put them into this thing right here. Shove them through. And inside here is a series of uh, of like... I don't know what you call those. Oh, so they're like what slides. Really? It looks like they're, they're like the little pieces that you don't have to hold on to the actual film. Yeah, yeah. So it goes into like a slide. Or no, no, cool. I was saying like you put them in there and then see like that series of rollers? Like the, the negative would go through that series of rollers. Oh, all right. right. So what was this, like the printer for it? Or Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Huh.
there's another that can be called. It looks like it wants to appear too on the border rock. There's like mm -hmm. one more on the So this dark room has a little bit more to see inside of it. This is what they would have held all the x-rays inside of after they were done developing them. But there's no x-rays inside of there. But there are x-rays inside of this hospital and we will get to them. But this is just a, a little bit bigger dark room with a little bit more to see. So we made it over the first x-ray room. This is a really good intact x-ray machine right here. I like these rooms. These rooms are the best for pictures. These rooms are the best just to shoot video and, and pictures inside of it. It's a really nice one. I like when hospital machinery has mold around it because it makes it better pictures. It makes for way better pictures. Way more decay around it makes it more creepy and abandoned looking. So what's this, the doctor's office, Max? Yeah. yeah. Check this out. Original x-rays. Yeah, what is that? I think Pelvic it's bone? breasts. Oh, so they're yeah. different like segments. You know how the MRI machines work? They like do different segments. So uh -huh. this is like, it goes from either the surface down or from you know, the very bottom part to the top. All right. So all these are like, yeah, see, this is like a segment. That's a segment. Very cool. So we actually got some x-rays inside of here. Yeah. Oh, uh, so you said this might be breast? Yeah, I think so, because there's a whole bunch of uh, breast cancer books in here too. All right. Everybody, so. Max Powers, Strange Places. Strange places. We go places where most people wouldn't dare to venture. There you go, Max. I don't know, man. I, I probably <laughs> wouldn't be touching that right there. You don't know where that's been. Or what's been in that. Yeah, shake it off. That's yeah. the only way to do it. Shake off the germs. That's a good that's sterilizing method. Let the air take it Better all off. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's pouring outside right now. And all this water is just piling up inside of here. And this is the reason why there's all this mold all over this place. And it's also the reason why I'm wearing a mask. That TV reminds me of A Nightmare on Elm Street 3. When Freddy comes out of the TV, becomes the TV essentially, and then grabs the girl and sucks her in the TV. That whole section of the roof is gone. It's creating a waterfall inside of here. Wow. I've never seen a waterfall inside of an abandoned building like that. I've seen good leaks, 
But that is a terrible leak right there. That is letting in so much water right now. This is just flooding from that waterfall. It just started raining and this is how much is compiled over the last probably 20 minutes or so. This place probably gets tons of water inside of it all year long. Somebody tried to start a fire unsuccessfully, even with all this paperwork. And maybe they just got scared, came to their senses, and put it out. Either way, they're assholes. Look at all these files up behind, guys. I didn't think there was going to be that many, but. There's just as many as any other hospital you've ever been in. All this, look at all this, knocked down. Look at all that. All the records. Racks. And all this paperwork that's left behind. This whole room. It's just a room of paperwork that is either getting wet, thrown around, or in some cases, burnt. Tennessee. Wow. So it's a lead safe designed to. What the hell is this piece in there? I don't know. Did that big machine need like pieces of, of fuel rod or something like that? Uh, there's something in the machine that says like danger radioactive. All right. So it's very possible. Wow. And it, won't, it used to open. Wow. And there's another shape inside of it? What the hell is that? I don't know that? what that is. All right. But it's in the it's in the lead lead safe, so I don't know if it's safe to touch. Yeah, I probably wouldn't touch that. I'd probably just close it up. But if anybody knows what that is, and if it's dangerous, let us know. Like, yeah. Was that like a smell that came out of that? Why would they leave that here? I don't know why they would leave that here. If that is anything dangerous, guys, please let us know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's definitely sketching me out. So I kind of want to get out of this room. Oh look, there's a radioactive sign over there too. Oh, on that? Oh, yeah, shit. I'm not opening that shit. Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, whoa. Wow. So this is what we were looking for, huh, Max? Yep, pretty cool. What do we got here? This is a type of particle accelerator. It's uh, similar to the, the scientific ones, like the Hedron Collider, except uh, it's for medical use. It kills uh, cancer cells. And it's called a linear accelerator. And what it does is there's a tube within within here. It follows the contour of this machine. Radio waves are actually high frequency radio waves are sent down the tube and electrons are released into the tube. The radio waves accelerate those electrons to nearing the speed of light. And then it's sent through here before it gets beamed into where the patient is. There is a tungsten plate. So the electrons collide with the tungsten plate and it produces x-rays. Those x-rays are focused on the tumor and it yeah. kills the cancer cells. All right, man. This is pretty amazing. Yeah, Marvel's engineering right here.
So this right here was used to power this big machine right here, the particle accelerator. You put the radiation inside of there, it looks, because they have radiation warnings on it, so that looks like a vat that would have radiation or something inside of it. I don't know very much about radiation. I don't know very much about these machines, so if you guys know, let me know exactly what's going on here with all these components inside of here. Because I really, I don't know, it just looks like really dangerous shit that I should not be touching, and I'm not going to be touching it. Alright guys, this was a pretty dope explorer. We're going to end it off here at the particle accelerator. This massive machine. This thing, I think I, I think it costs about a half a million dollars if I'm not, like, does it cost a half a million dollars? Half a million to 1.5 million. There you go. So these are really, really expensive. Why it was left inside of here, I have no idea why. Why this wouldn't have gone to a new facility or something else, I don't know. I don't know if it's out of date. I don't know if it was damaged. I don't know if they just couldn't move it. I don't know if these things are hard to move or if you shouldn't move them at that point. If you guys know anything about that, let me know about it. But this was a really dope explore. Like I said before, we got to see a bunch of different things. X-rays, obviously this particle accelerator. We got to see the X-ray tables. A lot of the things that we usually see inside of these abandoned hospitals. Paperwork, things that were almost lit on fire. We saw a waterfall. We got to see a waterfall inside of here. We didn't, I've never seen a waterfall inside of an abandoned building, so. We got to see that go down. Hopefully, this place doesn't get exposed, vandalized, and broken up, and it just is left to the decay and the roof leaking through and everything getting wet inside of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this explore, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.